angels can move out of the spirit into our dimension and, and have activity here, it can manifest themselves and be seen or they can choose not to. Angels are invisible beings. Uh, they don't have tangible physical form here in the earth unless uh, at times God will, will grant them that for, for, for moments of time. Usually they're, they're kind of manifesting in a way that has a glory or a light um, that is about them. And honestly, it's a little bit startling. I mean, when you first see angels, I mean, like when I wake up in the middle of the night, it's, it takes time sometimes of, of, with spiritual eyes when you see um, the angelic um, before you not to be startled. I know recently in the last, in the last decade, there's been uh, things showing up in pictures. Uh, you know, people take pictures of something and there's these orbs that show up and, and there's these translucent type orbs, but they show up on the pictures. and. Some of them have formations in the orbs and, and shapes. Some of them have faces, really unusual things. The angelic actually came into the room and people actually knew that there were angels in the room and somebody had just testified about the angelic being there, um, but it was captured on film. And there are three different angels that were captured um, on film there in the midst of that. I know there's uh, a number of scientists that are beginning to study these things and they're beginning to isolate the pictures and study them and isolate the ones that are absolutely something supernatural. You know, they're not dust on the lens or whatever. And uh, what they're finding is that these are both, uh, they're spirit beings. You know, people that are not believers, they're saying we, these are obviously spiritual, supernatural beings. What I know is that for whatever reason, angels, both angels and demons, are beginning to show up on camera. And uh, why this wasn't happening a long time ago, I don't know, maybe we're getting better technology, you know, but uh, God sends his angels to fulfill his word. And so a lot of times, especially in intense personal ministry settings, uh, these orbs will show up all over the place. Yesterday when we were preaching in the middle of the meeting, um, people began to talk about the angel feathers that are falling in the middle of, of this meeting while we are preaching. Well, it's interesting because the Bible says that those feathers that were in the angel's wings actually had the appearance of a, a stork, a, a white, fluffy feather.